Hey guys, I want to go ahead and uh, just go over some volume problems, area, volume, cross sections, just all new, together as one. I know you guys are getting ready for your uh, uh, AP exam. So we'll start off with the easiest one. It says find the area of R. And we have these two functions. We have uh, square root of X. And then we have this other function here, which is E to the negative 3X. All right. Find the area of R. Well, it's just... Uh, this is a calculator problem, so if you do it correctly, you should find the point of intersection here at 0 0.239 and then right here it's 1, from 0 to 1. And the area, guys, to find it is just the top function minus the bottom. Okay, top minus the bottom. Okay, and that's it. That's the top function minus the bottom. So hopefully, hopefully that's not too difficult, but... Remember that the integral is the area underneath the curve between the x-axis and the curve. So if I have to take this curve and I shade it under, I shade all this under, right? And then I take this curve and I shade under that one, okay, all of this, and I subtract that, it's going to give me this section here. Okay, and that's what it means. You're taking the top area, all of this, okay? And then you're subtracting the white area here, okay? So when we talk about area underneath the curve, it's the area between the curve and the x-axis here. And that gives you the shader region. Put in your calculator and you're all set. For letter B, it says find the volume generated about the horizontal line y equals 1. So here's the line y equals 1 here, okay? And then remember, what you have to do is you have to go from the axis of rotation. So from here, okay, you go all the way down to where the function ends right here. And if you notice, there's a gap right here. And that's how I know it's going to be the washer method. Okay, big R squared minus little r squared. Well, from here, what's this distance? Think about distance. And a lot of students, when they say, oh, what's this distance? And they think, oh, it's the function. No, it's not. From the x-axis to here, that's the function. So how do you do it? Well, we know that from here to here, this is a distance of one, one unit. So if I take the whole thing, okay, the whole thing, and I subtract this little part here, which is the function, I'm left with this guy right here, okay? So if I take the whole thing, subtract this little part here, I'm left with the section that I want, all right? And that's what, I'm, well, that's what we do. So it's one, the whole thing, minus this little part here. Well, what's this distance? Well, it's the function e to the negative 3x. We square that, minus, and then we go from. Now we need, from here, we need this part here, this distance. Well, what's this distance? No, it's not the function. From here to here, we know from here all the way down here, that's the func that's a 1. Okay, from here all the way down here, it's 1 unit. Okay, 1 unit. From here, from here all the way up to here, what's this distance? It's a distance of this function here. So if I take the whole thing 1, subtract this distance, I'm left with the radius that I need. Okay, so 1 minus this function, which is square root of x, it will give me this little radius here. And that's how you set it up. You square it and you're done. Okay. Part C, it says that you have a cross section with a rectangle whose height is 5 times the length of its base. Okay. So let's take a look at that one. Now, remember, all you're doing with cross sections is you're integrating the area. So whatever shape it is, whether it's a square a rectangle, a triangle. In this case, it's a rectangle. So what's the area of a rect rectangle? One half base times height. Okay. So what you got to understand is that when they do uh, the rectangle, this, this part here is the base. Okay. This part here is the base, which is this. And then here's my height. They tell us, okay, that the height, okay, the height is five times the length of the base. Okay, that means, okay, the height is five times the base. So one half 
base times height, the base is b, okay? The height is 5b. So now we have 5b squared. So uh, all I do is I can take out the 5 to get 5 halves. Now, what is the b? What's the base? The base is this distance here, okay? Think about the area. What's, you know, how do you find area between uh, two curves? Well, it's just top minus bottom. So the top function is square root of x minus this guy, e to the negative 3x. Okay, why do we have to square it? Well, because it's 1 half base times height. And that's it. You just put in your calculator and you get uh, your value. Notice there is no pi because we are now rotating it. It's just a bunch of rectangles coming out of the, out of the page. All right. That's all I did. I, all I did is integrate the area, and it goes from, you know, base height. The, the height is 5 times the base. Okay, the base is this guy between the curves. Top minus bottom, and we're done. Let's do one more, guys. All right. We have this other function. It says uh, let R be shaded, the shaded region bound by ln of x, and then x minus 2. It says first part, find the area. Area, easy, top, minus, bottom. That's it. That's it. You would also calculate a problem. You would have to find the point of intersection. Okay. And uh, try to do as many decimal points as possible to get an accurate uh, answer, at least four or five. All right. But the area is just top function minus the bottom function. Now, be careful here when you have a binomial. Okay. When you're subtracting, you're going to have to distribute. So, just be careful when you're doing that. Okay. So, that's it. That's the area. Notice there's no pi, okay, because it's just area, top minus bottom. You should get something around 2.07. Letter B says find the volume of the solid generated when R is rotated about the horizontal line y equals negative 3. All right, so here's negative 3 here. All right. Now remember, you have to go from the axis of rotation. So from the axis of rotation all the way to the top, you notice there's empty space. That's the washer method, okay? Big radius squared minus little radius squared. Well, what's the distance from here to here? Well, remember, okay, from here all the way here, okay, that guy is three units long. And what's the distance from here to here? Remember we talked about it previously in the other, in the other example? This is the function. So this distance is three plus from here to here is the function. So you're going to get this, 3 plus ln of x squared, okay? Minus, now what's the little function? Now it would go from here to here, okay? But that, one, that looks kind of weird, like Sandoval, how do, you, how do you do that? Well, let's look at it here, okay? Let's say if I did my big radius for, on this side, right? All the way here, right? From here all the way up here, right? 3 and then plus from here to here, that's the function. Now, what if I just did the same thing here? I'll go all the way up here. Boom. What's that? Same thing. From here to here is 3. From here to here, it's the function. So it's essentially the same thing. 3 plus, well, from here to here, what's that distance? x minus 2. Okay, even though here looks a little bit weird and different, it's essentially the same thing. Notice that you're adding 3 plus the function. Okay, and from there, all you do is just uh, make sure you set it up correctly in your calculator. All right, and I'm sorry, I don't know. I think the area or the volume is 30, 34 something. I don't know. I forgot 34 point something, guys. I'm sorry, but you can put it in your calculator. The most important thing for me in these videos is making sure you know, understand how to set it up. I think the majority of you know, understand, know how to find the point of intersection. That's no big deal. But the setup is the most important thing. Okay. Uh, part C. It says, write, but do not evaluate an integral expression that can be used to find the volume generated about the y-axis. Okay. About the y-axis. So for this problem, letter C, okay, we have this, all right. Now, what I decided to do is it's rotating about the y-axis. Now, what's new on the AP exam over the last couple of years is now that they're doing the shell method. Before, they didn't, use, they didn't uh, test you on it, but now they are. 
The shell method, okay, is when the the base, okay, or this is the section is parallel to your axis of rotation right here. And you notice it's going to be rotating this way, okay? And it creates a cylinder. Well, the shell method is 2 pi r times h, all right, as opposed to the washer. And you notice 2 pi, bring it outside. From here, from here to here, well, what's that, what's that radius distance? Well, it depends what x is, right? If it's right here, maybe x is 1, x is 2, x is 3, whatever it could be. But anyways, it's just going to be a value of x, whatever that x value is. Well, then what about the, the height of this cylinder here? Well, that's just the height of the function between these two curves. Okay, and then top minus the bottom. So it's between these two curves. So ln of x minus x minus 2. All right, so that's your x and that's your f of x dx. Notice we're not squaring it because this is the shell method. All right. And then you just put that in your calculator and you're all done. And then for this question, if they, uh, they didn't want you to solve it. They just wanted you to set it up. One last thing I want to do is I added a new question. Just I wanted to say, let's say we have semicircle cross sections and they ask you to find the, that volume. Well, all you're doing, guys, remember, all you're doing is you're integrating the area of that cross-section. So this is a semicircle. Well, what's the area of a semicircle? Pi r squared divided by 2 because it's half. Semi is half. Okay, so the pi over 2, I took it out. What's my radius? Now, remember, this is the, the graph that we have. So this is what we have here. So what we need to do, this is the base, is a semicircle right here. And I pulled it out here. So I got to figure out, basically, this distance here but remember this has radius squared the radius is actually from here to here not the whole thing remember the whole thing here is top minus bottom top minus bottom but because it's the radius okay the radius is only half we actually have to add a half here why do we square it well because that's the formula pi r squared okay and then bring out the, the one half hour becomes pi over four. And you're left with your setup right here. All right, guys. So hopefully that does help out and gives you a better understanding of how to do these problems.